Mary, uh, I'm tempted to ask, how hard is it to simply land a helicopter and then make off with the, the people you want to take? Well, I mean, you've got a compound, you've got a rec yard. There's a lot of space there because they have to contain a lot of inmates, so they could just bring it down in. I mean, in the U.S., you've got prison guards patrolling the, per the perimeter, and in the towers, they have M16s, they have automatic weapons, so they probably would have fired on it and waved the helicopter off. But in Canada, seem, things seem to be a bit more lax than they are here. And let's take a look at this place. This is a detention center. This is not right. a prison. This is not a jail. And although these although the ones that they broke out from last time was a maximum security facility. And as a matter of fact, CNN's Alexandra Field has confirmed that in fact, union prison guards are now going to their, their chief and saying, we've got to get netting, we've got to get some sort of cables uh, to prevent this from happening again. Well, yeah, you know, in the U.S., they would be able to prevent it. But in Canada, things are real lax. I met a lot of Canadians that were locked up with me in the U.S. that were trying to get treaty transfers to go back, and they were telling me about these Canadian prisons. I mean, it sounded like going to a resort, sort of. But these guys were in a detention center. They were arrested four years ago, which means they're probably part of a large drug ring, organized crime or something. And that's why it's taking them so long to go to trial. And they were all arrested together. So there's a lot of money behind this escape, I would imagine. A lot right. of planning, a lot of logistics. Well, Some let's talk about the planning. Inmates just yeah, yeah, sure. Well, let, let's talk okay. about the planning because obviously, look, these cons had to assume their mail was being opened, that their phone calls were being monitored. How then do you think that they were able to communicate with people on the outside and coordinate this so specifically that the helicopter would know exactly when to land and, and get them out of there? Well, with Google Earth now, you can zoom into anything. You can pre-select a spot and yeah, your mail is opened in a prison, your phone calls are monitored. A lot of that is not real time. When I was at a prison in Texas, they used to have the guards that were driving around the compound of the fence, yep. and they had DVDs of the inmates' telephone calls, and they would be listening to the calls that may have happened a week or so earlier, two or yeah, three Yeah, and it's weeks unclear, earlier. it's unclear, it's unclear whether in fact that that, that, that was the case in this situation.